welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today is actually just a kind of a chime in because I was watching a video that somebody just sent to me literally like right now. And one of the things that caught my attention was the fact that you had a Costco worker take someone's um, cart and because they were not wearing a mask. And the person that sent this to me asked me, you know, are they allowed to do this? Is this legal? Now, I'm gonna give you a couple scenarios because it's one that I witnessed yesterday as well as today. When you're looking at a Costco membership, yes, membership, Costco has the option to actually serve you or not because you are paying a membership to be a part of their club. This is also the same argument I have with other industries and ants because again, you're a part of the club, you're paying a membership, you generally have to just follow their rules or their guidelines. And a lot of times their guidelines are set up for them to benefit, not you. So was it legal or lawful for that Costco worker to take that buggy and not serve them? Absolutely. Now, the flip side of that is you have other stores that are guess saying mandating that now here's the flip side or the difference for that now I walked into Kroger yesterday as you can see I'm outside not wearing a mask that's actually a personal choice now when I walk into Kroger's Kroger's has a sign as clear as day we are mandating that everyone shopping wear a mask for service right so if I want to go in Kroger I want to shop they are mandating that they wear masks. Now, most people that was in there weren't wearing masks. Not all, most. So, you're looking at employees, you had a bunch of folks that was wearing, you had a bunch of folks that weren't wearing. It is what it is. Was Kroger enforcing it? No, but it's there. The next point on this is, I also went to a walk by a Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, what I found intriguing because it's the exact same conversation I had with um, Governor Greg Abbott if you're asking for or having a mandate on a policy because policy is not law if you're asking for or mandating that it's part of a policy you have to supply the things necessary for people to comply with your policy in order for it to actually have any effect so Bed Bath & Beyond if you don't wear a mask, you can't go into their store. It is what it is. However, they have two people that are lined up at two separate stations. One is for sanitizer and gloves. That's one. The second person is for the free mask. Why? Because when you're going in and you're going to do that, their policy is you can't go in the store without gloves and masks. I get it. It is what it is. However, when you are going in, they are making sure you can comply with. Now, those that did not have glove and mask or did not want to abide by their policy, they brought them things outside. Because again, Bed Bath & Beyond went above and beyond to accommodate those that they serve. And they also made sure that they didn't touch all the bottles and all the other stuff. They had um, the necessary tents and stuff set up and I thought it was actually intriguing because again they had a policy in place they wanted you to comply with it in order for them to enforce it they had to make it available to you and one of those things of making it available to you was if it's part of your uniform they have to give you a uniform it is what it is and for those that didn't want to put on their uniform they didn't make them why because that's not their job you don't have to comply with it now, even in the interest of public safety, but is it something that's encouraged? Absolutely. But you also have to understand if you're going to make conscious choices to do something, you also have to accept the responsibility for those things that come along with it. Bed Bath & Beyond has accepted the responsibility of, if you're gonna wear a mask, we're gonna accommodate you for that. If you're not gonna wear a mask, we're gonna accommodate you for that. But there are two separate instances of how to do it. Just like Costco. Costco is pretty much just like any other employer. 
The problem is you signed a contract and it's a willful thing. Don't like the contract, don't go. Simple as that. Because if somebody has some compliance issue, or if I was to walk in somewhere and they say, hey, you're not wearing masks, we don't want you in there. I'm going to ask them, are you going to supply it? They say no, then guess what? They still don't get my money. It doesn't matter to me. It's not that big of an issue. Because if I'm shopping there, I'm spending my money with you. If you choose not to take my money, it's on you. But that's what I wanted to get into. The fact that Costco employee took the buggy from the Costco member, it is lawful and legal. These people, these store owners that have a compliance that they're doing, not only for their business, but for the safety of others, these are the things that they're doing. Do they have to do them? No. However, if they're looking for enforcement, they have to make something available to you. That's all I got for today. Well, actually for right now anyway. So keep that in mind. I love you guys. Keep donating. This episode is brought to us by Bernard. And holla at your boy. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. And Supreme, out.